Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bimo from How to Geek. In today's guide video, I'm about to simply show you what you can do to fix the issue of Facebook Marketplace isn't available to you. But before we get started with this video, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and without any further ado, let us get started with today's video. How to fix if the Facebook Marketplace isn't available to you or your region. So basically let's say that you open Facebook and you're not being able to find the marketplace option and then it says you that the marketplace isn't available to you. There are most likely multiple reasons why this happens so you want to make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all what you can do is actually simply save your login info. So I'm going to simply go ahead and tap on logout and you can simply tap on logout now right over here in, and set up and save your info if you want to. And what you could do is come back and then go ahead and actually uninstall and delete the Facebook app first of all. Once you delete the Facebook app, go ahead and tap on OK to uninstall it. Once done, you could go ahead and simply open Facebook again. If that fixes the issue, that is perfectly fine. If it doesn't, the other thing you can do is after reinstalling it, you can go to the app info page and then here you want to go to storage and cache and then clear the cache as well as the data by tapping on clear storage button. And then you want to simply come back. The other thing you want to do is finally go ahead and log into your Facebook account again and see if the marketplace option is available to you. The other thing you could also simply do is actually update the Facebook app. So in most cases, it could be the reason that your Facebook app is actually outdated and you're using an outdated version. And that is why you could actually be facing bugs and errors. So you could go ahead and type in Facebook and go ahead and simply actually update the app to the latest version. If you see an update button there, go ahead and simply tap on the update button in order to actually update it. Even if this didn't fix the issue, the thing you can do is finally press and hold the power button and then go ahead and simply power off and restart your device. Go ahead and simply restart your device and see if the issue has actually been fixed or not because most likely it is going to refresh all of the apps, the internet connection, the settings, the system and so on. So make sure to also restart your device. We hope one of these solutions may have helped fix your issue. If it did help fix your issue, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply make sure to also leave them down under the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.